G'day guys, Jeff Ware here, and today I'm out testing the Z900 RS. <laughs> absolute weapon back in the day so they brought the Zephyr in the 90s um, but that never really cut it finally they've done a real Z900 uh, or Z9 replica Z900 RS detuned Z900 engine but when I say detuned uh, it's bloody quick it makes 70 nearly 70 foot pounds on the dyno from 2000 to nine and a half thousand um, and it's about 105 horsepower at the wheel um, it's so fast it pops wheelies um, it's just an awesome bike It's really comfortable, uh, big wide bars, that classic styling, I mean they've really done it right with this one. Wicked exhaust note, that's the standard exhaust pipe exhaust note of the decade I reckon, that one. Um, wicked induction raw, so much fun to ride, I've got the traction control off at the moment and just mucking around here doing a photo shoot. Um, but it's got three levels of traction control plus off, it's got ABS. Uh, it's got a really funky um, classic style dash. It doesn't need one, it's got quite a long throw in the gearbox. Uh, first gear is taller, uh, lower incidentally than the Z900 and um, it's quite a throw between gears and the clutch is a little bit grabby. Uh, on this one, but the rear brake's also spongy, so looking at some of the press shots from the previous journos that had it, I'm thinking that's just a wheelie issue. <laughs> um, suspension's brilliant. Uh, the rear suspension's only basic. Uh, it doesn't have a linkage, it doesn't have compression adjustment, but it doesn't need anything. I wouldn't even change a thing on it. Um, the forks are really good. Uh, they're fully adjustable. Again, I wouldn't touch them. The brakes are stunning, they're an upgrade from the Z900 and they are absolutely awesome brakes. Um, so much feel, so much power, pulling the weight of the bike up, uh, really good. Handling, um, look it's not quite as sharp as the Z900. It's But that's okay because it handles really good. It's unreal. You just gotta muscle it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
If you want to test ride one of these, I suggest you get down to your Kawasaki dealer and get on one. $17,990 on the road, which is a bit dearer than you, you know, might pay for some of its competitors, but you've got premium paint, premium chrome, amazing finishes, ABS, traction control, uh, a lot of nice goodies like that. And when you really look over this bike, it's a, it's a set, a higher standard than a normal Japanese bike. Absolutely it is, especially the paint and, the, and all the finishes and stuff on it. Beautiful bike. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.